Hey guys, uh, welcome to the first course in the machine learning uh, specialization by Persian Tech. Uh, this particular course will start uh, from the very basics uh, for the people who have never studied uh, machine learning or for that matter even any other computer science subject but have a very basic understanding of uh, I, I'll say 12 standard uh, maths that would be more than enough. Uh, other than that, there's no particular prerequisite uh, because we'll not be focusing on any coding in this particular course. And the reason for that is that around the end, we will actually discuss some five or six different uh, projects, key projects, uh, some advanced uh, projects that are currently going on in our active field of research. So this particular course uh, is from um, anyone who wants to use machine learning uh, in their placement like they want to comment on that okay i know machine learning because you will be facing a lot of problems uh, or a lot of questions from the interviewer side so from the placement perspective uh, other than that anyone who wants to start a research in machine learning or any perspective like that uh, anyone preparing for a interview in for their ms or a phd or any such program uh, in india or abroad uh, you should take this particular course now, since it's uh, only prerequisite is 12th standard physics, uh, sorry, maths, anyone can actually take this uh, course if they have a very fundamental understanding of any of the mathematical concept. Uh, although we would uh, just want to make sure that you get what this course is all about. The first, free, uh, first uh, few videos will actually be uh, completely free on YouTube as well so that you can understand what this course is about if you have no clue what this area and this course is all about. Uh, once you are sure about that, uh, we'll be releasing uh, app, an application uh, for July 20 uh, that will actually capture the entire specialization. Uh, there will be some seven to eight courses in this entire specialization, uh, starting with what is learning for machines as the first one. And uh, with all those eight plus uh, two projects, you will be uh, at a position where you can actually apply for uh, any area and you'll be able to answer almost any question that can be thrown at you from a machine learning perspective and we're not discussing only about the key problems like uh, tell me the definition of this and how does this algorithm works every single decision every single step that is there in machine learning of any uh, algorithm that we'll cover here will be captured in detail here okay so we'll be going through a very long course but the good thing is that uh, even if you quit after the first course which is this one uh, I think it should be around 10 to 12 hours of material for this course. You'll still be ahead and will be able to qualify yourself saying that, okay, I know enough of machine learning to answer the fundamental questions. After the second and third one, you will be able to do certain kind of projects uh, to certain extremes. But after the entire seven courses, we will be able to say that, okay, you now know almost everything that is there to learn about machine learning, um, basic deep learning or about uh, pattern recognition like subjects okay so be sure uh, if you want to enroll for this particular course if you are not sure just go ahead and see some of the uh, free videos and if you are able to capture any of these you can just comment down below okay okay so for this particular chapter uh, we'll move on and show you what is the flow of this particular uh, course okay first we'll discuss about introduction to learning uh, because we uh, assume that not everyone knows learning what learning is for a machine okay and uh, it's even if you have studied fundamentals of machine learning or you have taken workshops in different uh, schools colleges on machine learning we will recommend you to watch this particular course very carefully uh, this particular chapter in particular because this helps you explain it to people who don't know it beforehand and that is something that will be very handful especially for people who are uh, sitting for any interviews because most of the people will actually ask you a very fundamental question uh, is that explain in layman terms okay and doing that is actually something very difficult for most of the people because they know only the definitions and the key jargons about the subject so here we have uh, made it so simple that a uh, eighth standard student can actually understand all these things i mean uh, the time you know what the distance formula between two points are that is more than enough knowledge to solve uh, or to understand this particular chapter so do understand this chapter not from a prospect to uh, revise something if you have already understood what machine learning basically is but to 
express yourself in a proper manner so that someone who don't have a background can understand you okay uh, problems that we can solve with machine learning you need to understand all the problems that we can and cannot solve with machine learning because not every problem can be solved by machine learning okay and uh, when i say it can be uh, there's like uh, i'll take an example uh, diamond okay diamond is something that you can make out of uh, any wood okay any carbon material for that matter you can make diamond out of that but the problem is that uh, by spending let's say 100 dollar you will be able to make diamond worth 50 dollar so it's not actually a good solution right so you may be able to solve almost every problem after a certain hypothetical scenario with machine learning, but we are talking about, can you do it in a economical or computationally be feasible uh, with assuming what resources we have? I mean, I can predict every single person if they have coronavirus just by looking at some 15 different parameters, but I need to have sufficient record, which is not there today, right? So you need to make sure that you understand what problem is how many resources you need to solve it is it feasible to solve it and is it really worth to solve it or not okay so that all will be discussed in this particular problem uh, then we'll discuss about uh, classifiers uh, this is one huge category of uh, machine learning tool uh, that actually come machine learning entire learning is actually divided into three uh, regression classification and clustering if you don't understand these three terms don't worry we'll discuss about all of these in detail okay so We'll first go ahead and understand what are classifiers. How do we choose which classifier do we have to deal with? Then some clusters. How do we choose the clustering algorithm? And there will be a small brief about what further courses will be there in this particular specialization and what each of the course will actually have. Okay. So now uh, before moving on to the first uh, topic in this particular subject, I just want to make sure that uh, you all have some sort of a note uh, making system with you, whether you do it digitally or with a notebook, because these topics will actually be required to understand some of the future courses. So I would suggest you to make some possible notes. Uh, all the people who actually enroll for the certificates will get the slide. So it's not that big a deal, but even after the slide, there will be a lot of writing and explanation that actually happens. So I would suggest uh, it's a personal note, not necessary, but I would suggest you to have uh, some sort of a note making system with you so that you don't actually lose anything that we discuss here. Okay. Okay. So from now we'll move on to the first topic introduction to learning. 